what's good YouTube welcome back to our 2021 NBA draft player breakdown series today we're going to be talking about a freshman big man from North Carolina in Dayron Sharp so let's get into the video so Dayron Sharp is an intriguing prospect who is by some mocked to be a borderline first round second round draft pick uh, somewhere in there at North Carolina he was able to put up just kind of modest numbers but at times was able to flash uh, some dominance in him uh, he had stretches where he looked really good on other stretches where maybe he wasn't as dominant or as consistent as you would like him to be I think going into the NBA his biggest strength is going to be his size uh, he has really good size at 6'11 260 pounds so he's not the type of big guy who's gonna have to come into the NBA and spend a couple years in the weight room before he's really able to defend and contribute to an NBA team uh, he's got that size already to go along with that size he's also a pretty good athlete uh, not necessarily the most explosive but he's able to move his feet on the defensive side pretty well uh, he's not someone who should get just torched in switch situations I think he can hold his own for a big guy out on that end of the floor uh, and then on the interior uh, he's not necessarily the shot blocker you want uh, but he's got the size and the frame and the athleticism where if all of it clicks uh, he could be someone that could hold down the paint uh, for an NBA team another strength that Dayron has is he's got some good touch uh, on the inside especially for someone uh, with such size uh, he's able to kind of use both hands around the rim and he plays really hard uh, and so he crashes the glass well on both sides of the ball and then on the offensive side uh, when he does get that offensive rebound he flashes uh, potential of you know footwork uh, strength and power uh, and being able to really use both hands uh, which is good to see and so he's got you know a good foundation to build on which is good to see and like I said the big thing for him is he's, he's got the size uh, to be able to come in and at least uh, play some rotation minutes for an NBA team right away. Some weaknesses for Dayron Sharp would be that he's not the most uh, fit for today's NBA, at least what some teams are looking for, more of a stretch big. Uh, his outside shot is definitely something that he's gonna have to improve on. Uh, he's gonna have to improve his free throw shooting, all that kind of stuff. Uh, some other things that he could work on is just his overall post game. Well, he does show flashes of having solid footwork uh, and being able to score with both hands. Uh, he still can kind of get overwhelmed at times in the post or get a little sped up and uh, force shots. Or maybe if teams were able to throw a double team at him, uh, he wasn't the greatest at making decisions out of those. And so that's definitely an area of the game that he's going to have to clean up uh, if he wants to uh, stay on the floor in the NBA. And then lastly, he does have some lapses defensively where maybe he's missing rotations or not helping when he should, uh, stuff like that. Uh, and then he's not necessarily the shot blocker that you wish he would be as someone <clears throat> at that size and with that athleticism. And so that's something that he's going to have to uh, clean up or work on again if he wants to get minutes in the NBA right away. Overall, I think Dayron's going to be a pretty good pick for where he's going to be selected in this year's draft. I think it's going to be good value for whatever team drafts him. I'm a North Carolina fan, so I'm going to be rooting for Dayron. I hope he does well. I think he's a player who maybe has a, a high floor and kind of lower ceiling. If it's a team wishing to take you know, a shot on a potential you know, star player in the second round, early second round, whatever. I don't think he's that type of player, uh, but I think if he's picked in the later first round, uh, by a playoff team I think he's the type of player who could come in and contribute and at least be in the rotation for that team uh, early in his career and so I look forward to seeing you know how his career develops uh, where he goes I think is going to be big just like for everyone in this year's draft uh, but yeah those are just kind of my thoughts on him leave your thoughts down in the comment section below make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys later